going to be a couple minutes while we get set up here. Uh, so if everyone could just stand by, uh, enjoy the uh, Rush 2 music as the uh, as everyone comes in. And uh, we're just going to take a few minutes to get ready. So just hang on. Okay, we are good. Yes, uh, the archivist has indeed been allowed to drive again. It's a good question as to why. I know, I keep forgetting to change the month. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, sorry, I just had to microwave something, but we're good. <laughs> we are all good. I am live. And, um... I have once again forgotten to change the month on my stream. I'll retweet myself. There we go. Maybe I'll just let people come in. Here. Uh, I can try to change this, but I know it won't change while you're all watching it. But it should say November. November, not October. I'll change it, but I know it's not gonna go. There we go. Update information. Alright, everyone's coming in. Hello, everyone. No, no, no. No, everyone stay. It's good. Why would you leave? I want everyone to stay. <laughs> no ducking out. I just forgot what I was doing. Um remember what I was up to in the middle here. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Oh, so it would change. No, it's fine. Don't worry. There's other people here now. It doesn't matter. Uh, there we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, my BRB screen is still- I should actually, regarding my BRB screen, which is here, um, I should inform everyone that, uh, I have in fact have, uh, spent the past month, um, trying to catch up on Pokemon games that I missed, and I've been playing Omega Ruby, and finally, a little after midnight last night, I caught Tynamo, so I have the eel. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's already an Electros now, I'm very proud of it, but, um... Electros has come home. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> uh, so I have the complete team now. It's just I can't bring Electros into Sword Shield to be with the others, but it is there. But I have made the entire Submus team and I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> I love my eel. I was petting it in Pokemon Ami earlier. It was making me very happy. <laughs> Also, I have a level 80 Skitty in there, too, but that's exactly the point. <laughs> when I play Pokemon games, which someday I'd love to stream some Pokemon games, um, at some point. Yeah, but, um, my, one of my running gags now has been to, um, was I in the middle of a circuit? Yeah, there were three races to go. I wish Sword Sealed had Skitty, too. Yeah, I miss Skitty. I got a Perugly the other night, too, and I was very excited about it having Perugly. Um, I want all the cats. My, my, my running joke now when I play is to have an unevolved house cat in the party and get it to level 100 because I did that with uh, my Sword Shield party which had um, they were all named after characters from the young ones and uh, so that was Rick and Rick is a level 100 purloin and I'm very 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 fond of him. He's my baby. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah, yeah. Rick is uh, very much my baby. Uh, anyone who's watched me on Twitter in the past year has seen has seen Rick at some point. I am very very attached to that cat. <laughs> He's a special boy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let me see something. So I was gonna try today to get some of the. He's Oh yeah, Mystery Dungeon, I gotta- Yeah, yeah, for those of you who saw me, like, at some point last month, um, there's a video of Rick knocking out Calyrex in one- in, uh, one shot. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> Luckily, you had as many chances as you could to catch it, I didn't have to reset, but... Oh my god. Um, yeah, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, I need to actually play that at some point, too. And there's rumors now about a Sinnoh remake that, um... There's a lot of there's a lot of fuel to that to the fire on Sinnoh remakes lately, so we'll see. But what I was gonna try to do today was I was gonna try to get the some of the keys on some of the tracks that I have struggled with. So let's see. I have been having some trouble with the half pipe and the crash tracks, so I'm gonna see if I can do that. In the meantime, I guess I'll finish off this circuit. Oh yeah, Art Academy. I keep forgetting about Art Academy. Considering I like drawing things, that sounds right up. So there was actually a um, circuit that I was in the middle of, which I forgot. Um, I think I'm destined to come in like fourth here or something. Uh, like I can't win this, but uh, I'll at least polish it off. And then I'll start getting some keys that I'm missing. Whoa, I forgot this car handled like this. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I forgot this one just really flung around. No, don't touch me. I'm, I'm trying to jump. I almost wonder if next month I should I should do Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Snap on here. That would actually be fun. I haven't played Pokemon Snap in like 20 years, so... I uh, sold my copy at, at GameStop. Um, I think I needed money for whatever reason as a kid. Um, I, I, they took less than a dollar for it. Ow, bastard. They, they get, they took less than a dollar for it, which I think is ridiculous because it's actually a pretty quality game. Um, at the time maybe I didn't think so, but like when I look back on it as an adult, no, it was actually good. And I, I, you know, it was cheap. Looked like this the other day, actually. It was uh, around here. It was very foggy. Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was 
it was shitty. It was a good. It was a. GameStop though tends to. If you want a better price for your used games, I'd sort of find like a local game store instead. Ow. My personal favorite is uh, J and L Games, which is on Sixth Avenue in the city. It's uh, like a couple blocks down from Bryant Park, and uh, they are fantastic. They fixed my Mario RPG cartridge because the battery died. Um, brought it to them. They had it. They had the new battery in in like an hour. Uh, they they're great. So I highly recommend J and L Game if you're in the New York City metropolitan area. They're fantastic. They also have a really good selection of stuff in general. This game is actually on sale there. They actually have this game. I I checked. Um, so if you want to play this game, JNL, Sixth Avenue, New York, has it. If you actually want to play it on the N64, they're they're my uh, fave local game store. I really like them. I always make a point to stop in if I'm uh, if I'm in the area, so to see if they got anything new. Yeah, they're yeah. I'm excited to see the new Pokemon Snap. It's been such a long time, so I'm kind of curious as to how it's gonna look. Yeah, new Snap should be really cool. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna probably get new, new Pokemon Snap. It's been such a long time. Like, I didn't really play too many of the, like, the Pokemon games that were, like, side things. Like, I played- I had Stadium, but I never really played it, like, as Stadium. I just played the mini games. I was really, uh, I really liked the Lickitung one, where you were at the Sushi Go Round. And, uh... You know, whatnot. I mean, there- I- Every time I go to a sushi restaurant where it's like that, I just I just think of Lickitung. Oh, I glitched into the shortcut. Oh, 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 I, I, I glitched in. That was good. That, that, that was nice. That was a complete accident. But I'll take it. Yay. Yay, I glitched into this. And it did nothing for me. I gained absolutely nothing from that. I literally just have to wait for people to crash, and that's the only way. This level I've always had trouble with, though, because it's a lot of airtime, and the physics engine just kind of doesn't really cooperate with you on that, so I'm gonna actually go this way, because I can. This is an option I have, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm still doing this. I still haven't gotten everything. And it's very frustrating. Um, whoa, holy crap. That guy's dead. Yeah, it's it's been a while. I mean, if I'm only playing it like two hours a month, uh, you know, it's... I'm not really getting enough of uh, finishing this. I will do it eventually, I just... Oh boy. I don't think I'm gonna win this. But, uh... Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of... I still have to figure out why the DK64 ROM crashes every time I, uh, die in the arcade game. Because that's been, uh, that's been very frustrating and that's been preventing me from actually finishing that on stream. So I've got to do that too, because that's very aggravating. I, I know that's... I just kind of keep forgetting to work on that. Yeah, there's a Mountain Dew can I don't have. Yep, now I'm going to come in third again. It seems to be the running thing on this is that I, I come in third. You know, always a bridesmaid, I guess. That implies that I would be marrying the trophy. That's kind of weird, actually, when you think about that. I think you know my name by now. We've been doing this. I mean, I'm in second, but I don't think I can win. <laughs> oh, another track I don't like. Yeah, I guess that's true. The uh, 
I wouldn't lose any arguments. The trophy couldn't answer me. Unless I was, uh, like, you know, unless it was, like, sentient somehow. Hey, passerby, how are you? I am going in the sewer. Yep. Where I belong, in the sewer, with the rats. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm a New Yorker by nature. I'm most comfortable underground. It's just kind of how it is. I just like being underground with rats. I haven't been underground with rats in like eight months. It's been killing me. Oh god damn it. Whoa, oh, I missed that. That was that was close. Holy shit! I almost died. <laughs> wow. No thank you. I mean hopefully everyone had a good holiday weekend. I know it was um probably a very difficult one for everybody. Because, you know, you can't really see everybody as much, and it's just very... Yeah, when you can't see people, it's really it's slow. Normally the day after Thanksgiving, my family and I go into the city and we do something. Uh, usually with my godfather. And uh, this year we couldn't do that, for very obvious reasons, so it was really weird. I'm used to putzing around the city um, instead of, you know, I, I, it's much preferred to, you know, the people at the mall doing the shopping. I just like screwing around in the city instead. Which is, you know, one of my favorite hobbies always, is just screwing around the city for seemingly no reason. Oh, good, congrats on finishing finals. I know that's always just like annoying, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's it probably very nice to relax after that. I, I haven't had to do finals in a long time. I'm, uh, so I'm old now. Grad school was a long time ago. That just that sign just says rich, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, you bastard! Are you kidding me? Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, that, that, okay. Yeah, you know what? You deserve, yeah, you all deserve to just have these, uh, you all deserve to just start exploding into things because you're all shit. Yeah, I'll just go right past you. Get out of my way. I was enjoying myself, thank you. The smog is pretty realistic to LA from what I've heard. I guess after COVID's all done I'll have to go out there because that's where the Nintendo theme park is gonna be in the US, so I guess at some point. Maybe I'll knock off Dodger Stadium and uh and Anaheim too. I'll just I'll just I'm trying to do all 30 MLB stadiums, so that would give me a chance to knock off two of them. Of course, that won't be for, you know, a long while. I have to wait till next year at least. Oh! Ugh. Whoops. That didn't happen. Nothing happened there. That was not anything I did, no. Yeah, the dark blue dot on the map is me. Uh, so there's some people who are almost in striking distance of me, which I don't want. I would like them to go away. It would be much appreciated. See, in Mario Kart I can really drift. In this game, like, drifting isn't really an option. So... It's kind of, you know, eh. Drifting in this game is more or less just the whim of the physics engine. Oh, F-Zero. Yeah, I actually should play F-Zero sometime on stream. That would be fun. Actually, I've never... Whoops. We're going in here. This is actually a shortcut, believe it or not. I know it looks slow at first, because I'm in the mud, but uh, it speeds up pretty quickly. Like, it's gonna say they're in front of me, but they're actually not. I'm actually going over here. And I just 
gonna pop up there. Yeah, this is an this is an N64. Oh, now see, now I'm in second. This is an N64 emulator. So, oh, it says famous on that one. I see rich and famous. Haha. So I'd have to probably get F064 on here, but you know that would be. There's a few, uh, you know, things I'd like to fiddle with on here. Alternatively, at some point. It'd be kind of interesting to see if I could do the thing where I have computer players do Mario Party and do commentary over it. Um, just because I think that would be funny. I, as a kid, I would just kind of let the computer players beat the game for me. I'd be homesick uh, and, you know, from school or whatever. And I would just set up Mario Party, I'd have the computer players do the whole thing for me, and then just, uh, on the last turn, turn them all back into human players, and then just kind of, uh, reap the rewards, so to speak. Cheap way to do it, but, you know. It kept me entertained. Oh, that's cool, you were hired to do Smash commentary? That's awesome. Yeah, Smash is a game you can actually do commentary for. <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, it was an, it, thank you, I guess it was an, it was kind of an abuse of a loophole in Mario Party that actually in later versions of the game you have to have at least one human because they figured it out that people were doing it. <laughs> I just would be entertained. I would just watch the computer play the whole thing. And it unlock stuff and then, you know, I'd have everything unlocked with, you know, my friends and I could just like sc screw around with it. The track is so long, which makes it very annoying to me. Like, I just have never liked this one because I found it was just very, very long, very annoying. No, no, no. You will stay behind me. Oh, God. Oh, oof. Good, I got the block. That was good. That was like the worst time for the game to click out of itself. What's your name? And yeah, see, that took like eight minutes. Yeah, see, I can't win. What's the last one? Oh, great, Seattle again, my favorite. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna screw around and try to get more keys after this. Um. Because if I can get them all, I'll unlock a secret track. Yeah, the Seattle track in this game is, uh... Yeah, let me know how, how close it is, actually. Obviously, that's the Space Needle. Um... But I'm not sure what else is actually in here. Ow! Yeah, there's a Mountain Dew can I don't have. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't. The New York one, they kind of tried, but... By the way, I can actually do this. This is here for seemingly no reason. And I can glitch through the wall! Yeah! Because physics does, just does not apply to this game in any capacity. Yep, no, screw physics. Space Needle is in a field. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be the- well, I guess it was it was the Kingdom back then. It's, that's not there anymore. This game is from 1998. Safeco Field exists now, that's where the Mariners... Yeah. I actually was a big fan of Ichiro, so uh... Still am, actually. I shouldn't say- like, like Ichiro has not- They renamed it? Oh, it's now T-Mobile Park- oh god damn it, it's another corporate one. Not that I think Safeco wasn't corporate, but like... 
in Mobile Park. Yeah, like it doesn't- like the corporate names don't have character to them, like I don't really... Like the Mets used to play at a stadium called Shea Stadium when I was a kid. They played at Shea Stadium that was named for a family that actually built everything and uh, whatnot. Um, and now they play at City Field, which is uh, named for a corporation. Yeah. Screw capitalism. I love baseball so very much, but like, capitalism needs to stop with this. Whee. That is a 59 Cadillac, I think, with the fins. Yeah, I feel like they should just, like, put it in kind of- like, you can't rename the stadium after your- your company or something. I feel like that should be- that's like, if I was commissioner, I'd actually do that. I should- I should try to become commissioner. I have a lot of, like, thoughts about things. Ooh, I'm not driving well. Because I'm complaining about baseball again. Which, by the way, on a baseball note, um, so a, the first female and first Asian American uh, GM, uh, general manager, you know, GM, was hired- what the- okay. Sure. Uh, anyway, it was hired by MLB. Uh, her name's Kim Ang. She's now the manager for the Mar- general manager for the Marlins. And, uh, she went to my high school, so I just wanted to, you know, point, you know, just props to, uh, my high school for, for, you know, for having someone cool coming from it. So that's nice. Um. <laughs> yeah, it took way too- she should have been a general manager, like, years ago. But, you know. When you've got multiple prejudices against you, it's more difficult. But she did go to my high school. I may have graduated with one of her siblings, but I'd have to check my yearbook. Because I didn't really talk to too many people in my graduating class. So I was- my friends were like in higher or lower grades, so I didn't really hang out with too many people in my age. Exactly. And yeah, most of my friends were from like, my club activities and stuff, so. Didn't help that I was like the weird kid in my grade, so people didn't want to be around me. <laughs> So I had to find friends elsewhere. Gigahertz Tower Stadium. Literally sounds like a Pokemon location. I like it. Which I- I-, I my, my new favorite game is to, um, when I'm just around, is to, uh, refer to things, uh, around here as they, uh, by what they are in Pokemon Black and White. Uh, cause it's- it's based on here. So like Teterboro uh, Airport would be Mr. Lawn, for example. Um, you know, amongst others. Or Elizabeth, New Jersey is Dispertia. Jersey City is Veerbank. Uh, so these are these are you know I just I've enjoying I've been enjoying just messing with that because it's fun. Explains why so many of my favorite Pokemon are actually Gen 5. <laughs> They're just the local wildlife. <laughs> For me, so. Gen, f Gen 5, I think, is the, in terms of like actually focusing on story, did probably the best. Like, I know a lot of the other ones, like, the a lot of the games that'll be like, gameplay does really well, but the story is kind of. Mm. Gen 5 really came hard with the story. So that was that's probably its greatest strength. That and the fact that it gave me my two favorites, which are um, Purloin and Electra, so. <laughs> um. Yeah, if you have a 3DS, I'm pretty sure it's backwards compatible, so you can just. Yes, I do GTA 4. I absolutely enjoy- okay. Just- yeah, I screwed that up. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, GTA 4 absolutely is, is here as well, and I have fun with that. What's your name? I also- uh, Gay Tony also lives with me. That's my- my- that's my cat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I saw Gay Tony this weekend. Oh no, this credits. Is that a bottle cap? What, or I think it's supposed to be a, uh, a probably supposed to be a hub cap. It's gonna show me all like 30 tracks that I had to do now. I'm so sorry, guys. gonna be very annoying. Yeah, I think it's unskippable. Oh no, I can speed through it. Can I skip this? Oh, I, I can skip this. Okay, I did it. Okay. Oof. Okay. That could have been better. <laughs> could have been a lot worse, but it could have been better. Blah. Could have been better. Yeah, so ult yeah, with Ultra Sun yeah, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon take place in like very similar but alternate dimensions from each other. So like technically they exist at the same time, just on different planes. And it's weird and I don't know which one actually would be in like the the main uh which one actually goes in the main Pokemon timeline. I also have a friend who really loves uh, Lusamine, so... Um, okay, so this is where we go to screw around, so... Oh, I got it! I unlocked it! Oh my god! I thought I- I didn't think I would... I thought I had to get everything! Oh my god, I did it! Yes! Alright. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, this is what I was. This is what I've been trying to do for the past few months. Is, is get this. Okay, so this is based on Midway's offices. <laughs> so I want to see it. Oh, it plays the stunt music. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. This is literally Midway's office, apparently, uh, from when they were building the game. They just put their office in the game. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I've never been here before. I'm just kind of exploring. I'm in practice mode so I can just kind of look around. Yeah, there's like some glass and some... Looks like they kind of have some... Oh, those are Rush arcade machines. Rush was an arcade title first before it got ported. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'll do some of their other stuff. Oh god. Oh, there's so much stuff to look at in here. Holy crap. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to, like, go off course and, and ruin everything. Whoa! Let's see what's in here. Oh! What's this? Oh! I can just drive into the ceiling, apparently. Hang on, this is very important. I need to drive into the ceiling. Okay, hang on. Let me build up some speed so I can do this correctly. Because I've just discovered I can literally drive into the vents of the ceiling. And as obviously I am well known for my love of going places in this game that I'm not supposed to be, so let's see. Okay, I'm now in the- s I think I'm in the vents of the midway offices now. I- Actually, you know what? No, I have absolutely no fucking idea where I am. I don't know where I'm going to come out. I don't know where I- okay. Here I am. Okay, let's like, see if I can go inside people's cubicles and shit. I cannot go inside the cubicles. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's see where I'm allowed to go. There's gotta be stuff on this track, too. Is it on the BRB screen? Is it on the BRB screen for you? Let me take a look at my- no, uh, okay, it might be just- okay. I just wanted to know if you guys needed me to reboot or anything. Uh, 
Let's explore the office. Let's see. Some filing cabinets. Oh, that's weird. It, like it hiccuped them? Sorry about that. I'm just trying to explore the office and see what's in here. This is fun. Apparently there are keys on this track too. I just don't know where they would be. I'm just excited because I've never had access to this in 20 years of owning this game. So it's really neat to just kind of look around and see what's here. Just kind of going around people's desks. <laughs> is fun. Ah, uh, there's so much to see here. I wonder if I can get on top of people's desks. That is a levitating plant. Yeah, this this game is... I'm so glad this game is still really bad at physics. Oh look, I found a checkpoint. I think I can go down this hallway. Let's see what's here. Okay, let's see what's in here. Yeah, I'm like in the middle of the map right now. Oh! Oh, I found one! I think it'd be great if I could like go to the vending machine or the cafeteria and just get like a thing there. That would be nice. Round about and do. Is there anything down here? Or is this just a dead end? This is just... This is just very... Oh, no. That's a wall. Kinda hard to tell sometimes with the way this game is rendered if something is like a wall or not. But here we are. much to look at. I'm gonna keep coming in here and just screwing around for the rest of the stream. There's just so much to... Yeah, let's see if I... Okay, I think I found the server room. Is that a... That's the... That's the logo screen for the first game. I don't know what this is, though. Why is this blue? Oh! Yes, yeah, this, this is a very weird level. Like, I know it's based on Midway's offices. But, like, this is very strange. I've gotten two of them out in Duke Can so far, at least. What's back here? Let's see, I think I found a storage room. Oh, I found storage. Okay. It says quality stuff, which is, uh, quality stuff, which sounds like, um, me talking about what I contribute to the workplace. So now I feel like I can actually play something else next month, because I got in here. Nothing in there? Where for you snoring? Oh, there's just gonna be a ton of stuff to explore in here for the whole screen, so this is great. Well, like all all throughout my childhood I did not even know this existed. Um and that's because my game I think we got Rush 2 used, and my game pack wouldn't—it wouldn't save. So I didn't actually ever get to, you know, I would have to re-get all the keys each time I booted the thing up. So probably, in retrospect, I should probably, you know, have that battery replaced. Oh, I found one of the keys. There's gonna be so much to look around for in here. It's gonna be so much fun. I don't even know what- look how far off the, the track I am right now. This is great. Who gives a shit about the track? Not me! I'm too busy having a good time. 
There are too many things to look at and I don't feel like actually... Here's another one of those plants. Oh. Yeah, these are arcade machines, so... I think this is the cafeteria. Yeah, okay, see so here's a... Uh, I should be able to hit this and have a Mountain Dew can come out. I think it'll be funny. Here's the Mountain Dew machine. It'd be really predictable but funny if they actually put one back here. They did not. <laughs> oh, but there's a key. This is what Midway's offices actually look like in the 90s. This is honestly a pretty cool place to work. <laughs> this is the vending machine. Give me. Give. This is a lot of... I'm guessing uh, this is a game they made Area 51 State 4. Uh, Rush Cola, that says. Okay, I can't go behind these. So this I can see outside, I guess. This is their front door. Okay, yeah, there's the reception desk. When people come in. I wonder if I can go behind it. I can! I can go behind the reception desk. Is there anything here for me? No? Damn. Everything down this hallway? Let's see. This is just so fun. I'm just... Oh, I can't go any further. These are some couches and things in the reception area. This is the kind of place something would be hidden, so I have to check. You know. It's just how this game is. Anything here? No. Here? There's just like so many things to look at. Ah, here's a key. God, this is just so much fun. I'm sorry, I'm having like... This is like enrichment because I've been playing this game for so long and I've finally gotten new content for it for the first time in 22 years of my life. So, the, of playing this game. So this is kind of... I'm just really delighted right now. Just kind of exploring everything. There's just so much to look at. Is there anything back here? It's like going under people's desks. It's fun. Let's see, what game is this? I gotta get further back so I can look at it. Gauntlet. Gauntlet Legends. Okay, so that must have... This is literally a milestone moment for me, yeah, because I've been playing this game like, month, like probably about two-thirds of my life, and I didn't know about this extra content until, you know, recently. So I've been trying month after month to get to the point where I could have this track unlocked, and here it is! Ah, uh, here's someone's office. Let's go inside. Okay. Some filing cabinets. Is this it? It's one of them floating plants again. 
Ooh, I'm just glitching around the plant. This is great. Ow! Oh, please let me just have a good time. Please, I'm just exploring everything. There's so much to look at! I'm having a good time. Don't get in my way. Jeez, my RPG instincts were like, hey, you should try to like open the drawers. This is a racing game. I can't open the drawers. some important people's offices because a lot of this seems to be an open floor plan for most of it so it's kind of it must be in some important places why would I ever want to race here when I could just explore this would probably be a really good level for the tag minigame that you can play um which I believe I've explained that before, but Rush allows you to- Can I go in the vent? I can! This has become Among Us now. Oh! Oh! No! Go back! Go back! The, um... Yeah, there's a tag minigame in Rush 2 that you can play, where if you have two players, um, if you- if you hold down- Yeah, I'm- I'm sus now, you guys. I'm- I'm- I'm, uh... I'm real sus, I can go in the vent. The, um... Like, That's cool. That looked like- I was like, hey, wait a minute, I think I can go in here. So the, um... Oh, that's a- that's a jump! So I can get into it going in the opposite direction, I see. So you have to actually jump back in. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's where I came out. There, isn't it? So there's another one I can go in. I wonder where that comes out. It's just so much to look at. But um, there is a tag mini game you can play if you hold down. I think top C. Well, during the countdown part. Um, of the you know while they're counting down three, two, one, rush. Uh, if you both hold down the up C button, you. Uh, we'll initiate tag, and this would be a really good level for that, I think, because there's just a lot of things going on here, and a lot of good places to hide and mess around, and I think this would be a really good level for tag. I wonder if they had that in mind when they were... The tag mode is actually explained in the manual for the game, so it's like a... There we go, there's another one. Oh! Oh my god, where am I? Oh, okay. So that's where I went in last time. So if I go this way... Oh, there's a Mountain Dew can there! Oh, no, no! No, I have to go back! Screw you, I need to go back, this is important. Okay, I'll probably have to do it in round two. Oh, I'm over here again. Okay. There's so much of this track I don't know yet! I'm not gonna be able to get that this time. I'm gonna have to do it in round two. You know, dicking about mode. Oh, but this is- this is such a- this is so good! This is just so good! God, this is so good. I'm so excited. Okay, hang on. Oh, I actually have all the records for New York downtown. It's because I live there. Okay, hang on. There we go. Oh, curious about the circuits. Okay, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm only missing five keys. That was pretty good. Um, I know where one of the other Mountain Dew cans is, so I have to go get that. 
so I'm not doing too bad, given that that was my first exploration of the track. Alright, well we're going, obviously we're going back in there because, oh my god. This is great. This is so delightfully stupid, I'm so happy. There's just so much to do here, and... Do cameras right here. Give it to me. No! Bastard! No, I didn't jump high enough. Okay, I gotta go back around and try again. I think I have to get it off of this one, so... Ah! It's so nice to just see something different for the first time in a long time. You know, like 20 years. Come on. Oh, come on, I touched it. How tiny is the hitbox on that damn thing? That's ridiculous. Oh, I think that's an office I haven't been in yet. I'm gonna have to go in there. Can you give it to me? Yes! Got it. There we go. It's always good to go around tracks in like different directions too because you never know what you're gonna see if you go from it at it from a different angle. So that's why I like to explore like the whole thing. Yeah, like this. Just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. like the kind of place they would hide something, so I, I'm suspicious always. I haven't been in this office yet. Let me go in here. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Alright. An event, I guess. Okay. Oh, where the hell am I? Oh! The same one? Oh, the vent splits off! Interesting. Oh, there's two. Okay, I see how it works. Alright. Alright, I got it. Okay. So I'm missing five keys and one Mountain Dew still, so let's keep exploring. So much more to see here. Let's go in here. Let's see. This seems odd. Why would this be closed off, I wonder? Oh, these are just like chairs and stuff. This is just like a lounge in the middle of the... Just straight up in the middle of everything. They just have this like weird lounge section, I guess. Oh! You actually have a professor who worked at Midway. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Please ask him about this for me. I, I want to know. You know, I, I really want to know answers on that. I need, I need to... I'm curious because there's just... This seems like a great workplace to just be in. 
There's a lot of stuff to do. I mean, I work in a library. That's pretty, honestly, pretty great in its own right. Because there's just a lot, you know, to do there, too. But I'll never get bored if the, I mean, there's always- if I- if I have nothing to do and I'm on the reference desk, I can always find something to read or something. It's- it's very nice, actually. Uh, okay, let's see what's over here, because this is kinda... Got some cones, and that makes me suspicious, so... I came back here before, I think, and there's nothing. What is that thing? That's nice, I guess. There isn't. Kind of under people's desks and chairs and things like that. I think this is the actual track. This is the actual track. But it's more fun to not be on the actual track because you find stuff. So we're going off the track again because that's where all the fun things are. Here. The lights aren't on, so this is promising. Oh, there's nothing here. That's no fun. You can't just like dangle alternative pathways in front of me and. you know. <laughs> there's that weird arcade room again. I was in last time. It's got like. There was that loop I went up. So that is legitimately part of the track, it looks like. I can't go any other way. I think. Unless I go around this way. Whoa! Okay, I didn't know I could go over those. That's fun. Okay, so this is the official track, I guess, here. So that means I accidentally took a shortcut, like, my first time around. The... Okay, hang on. What's that say? Because for some reason it wants me to modify it. Oh my god! Okay, that's stupid. Here. Yeah. There. Okay. Yeah, Rush 2049 is a thing. It was, like, the sequel to this, quote-unquote. Alright, I found another office. Oh, another jump to somewhere. Where'd it go? Whoa! Okay. I have no idea where I am. Yeah. So for whatever reason, um, if there is an N, a G, and an A consecutively, uh, my, my channel flags it because it thinks it's an abbreviation for a slur. Obviously, Cruisin' Games is not an abbreviation for a slur, uh, so that was just... Whatever, anyway. Let's see what else is here. Show me things. There must be interesting. Oh, crap. I went through a door. Uh, what did I just do? Okay. Okay, sure. I managed to break the game again. Yep, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That was something. Okay, now I literally have no idea where I am. Okay. Okay, I think I was back here and I went on the jump, I think. I'm still trying to... Yeah. This is dark, so I'm kind of wondering if there's anything down here. There is not. You lied to me, game. I was hoping there would be somewhere I could turn off down there. There was not. Yeah, so that's where I jumped through just now. 2049, yeah, that seems to- apparently that sounded very far away, I'm guessing, for people at some point. Or, oh, that's the door I broke. Um, and really, nowadays, it's, it's probably within our lifetimes. I mean, it's pretty close when you think about it. 
really only uh, 29 years off now, so I would be, uh, if I did 30, so if I added 30 to my age now, I'd be 61. So I'd be 60 in that year. I was born in 1989. I'm so mad that I can't go in these. They're, they're blocked. I want to go in, but they will not let me in. This is also a big void. I can't, there's nothing in here. Like, this is so tempting. There's gotta be a way I can glitch myself in here. Because when it comes to these games, the answer is always glitch yourself in. Uh. <laughs> I have glitched myself into many things. There's more offices that I haven't been behind here. Okay. It's a couch! I guess you need somewhere to crash when you're inevitably doing an overnight. Alright, I'm in another office area. Woo! Going around in places I shouldn't be again. So you know what? The developers allowed me to come in here. So here I am. The developers specifically invited me to glitch around in this building, and I will do that. See, I just went right to the wall. Magic. But here's where I was. And, uh, back here that I haven't quite found yet. Where are we? Ooh. There's just so much to look at here. But I can't, I can't skip. Oh, there's a key in there. I see it. Okay. Alright. Got it. Yay! I could have sworn I'd been in here before, but apparently not. Now I gotta check all of these. Make sure I'm not missing anything in here. Oh, I thought I could go behind this. Okay. Watch me not spend the next 10 minutes trying to get out of here. Okay, oh, there we go. Another piece of, like, jump to the wall. Let's turn around here. I could have sworn I was back here, but I guess not. Did I check this one? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. It needs to be thorough, I suppose, with this game. <laughs> I actually had a similar game for the Wii called Mini Desktop Racing, and it was essentially... You're in a Mini Cooper. You were driving around on desktops. And, uh, that was the game. Of course, it was difficult to do because you were using the Wii Emote to drive a car, so, you know, how well that probably went. Door open? No, it's not. Okay. Couldn't tell if that was a hinge or an opening. This is an open door here. Can't tell from the shading if this is anything. Oh, it is. Okay. Have I been here yet? I feel like I've been here, but I can't. I'm not sure. After a while, it's get, it gets hard to tell where I've been and where I haven't, because, uh, you know. Hmm. This actually is really, like, bringing back weird memories of me. Like, so, my dad does IT, and um, sometimes I would go into the office with him at night to help him move things, you know, if he was moving offices or if he had to 
if like he had picked me up from something and like we had to go stop at the office or something or other. And so I've I've been in a lot of offices where there's there has been nothing but me in them, and this is really reminding me of that. It is a very weird feeling because you kind of feel like you're in like a liminal space of some sort, but really just in someone else's workspace. So I'm just straight up in the middle of the map right now. <laughs> that's that shortcut right there. The shortcut. That's that checkpoint right there. So that's. So now we're back here. Oh, I think I glitched the car. Hang on. There we go. Alright, I fixed it. Here we go. So this is the actual track here, I guess. But, you know, there's just so much other stuff to look at, but why wouldn't I... Like, what's this down here? I don't... Can I break that if I go at it fast enough? Can I jump into the void? I love going into the void in this game, it's one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> Can I go into the void? This is very important. That looks breakable, I'm gonna find out. Looks like the other breakable glass in this game. Nope! Okay. So it actually puts me in the shortcut, which I can't go through because I don't have speed right now. Ah ha ha, yes, thank you, I know I'm so skilled. Okay, so we found more things. That wasn't bad. And I discovered that door does not explode. So, let's go over here because I just don't like being on the path at all. Okay. Okay, let's see. Whoop. Okay, let's see. So I'm still missing four. <sighs> and one of the Mountain Dew cans. I have no idea where that is. Hmm. I don't want to spoil it either. I want to like find them for myself. Pokemon Center, you really didn't have to tell me about Cyber Monday. I, I've bought enough from you over the years. Like, I think we're good. Uh, obviously, we have to go back in here. Are you kidding me? Okay. Alright, that's so now we're gonna try to do the track backwards. And sometimes you see things you don't see when you go backwards. So like right off the bat, here's some stuff to look at. A desk. And a horn. So it looks like you start by the reception desk. There's an office, like right here, too. Next to the reception desk, which just has some arcade machines in it. Aha! Yes, see, there we go. That's why you do the track backwards. I was missing this office every time, so. Make sure there's nothing else in here. As you can see, there's the original Rush as an arcade cabinet, because it was. I've played Rush in arcades before. It is a lot of fun. So then we go back into the cafeteria.
Ooh, something's glitching out there. Oh, it's just the sign for Rush 2. Just imagine, like, you get to go to work and, like, there's just all this... all these games around you all day. It seems honestly pretty great. Come on back in here. Now here's that weird storage room I found last time. Far off the map that is. <laughs> can I squeeze through there? Ooh, I like can. Okay, you'll be clear there, Mikey. Always, always be thorough. Yeah, I can just like let me blow up. Okay. This is this. If anything, these games are proof why you should always be thorough when you do anything, uh, because you never know what you're gonna find while you're running around with them. So now we're back on the actual track. This is actually. I honestly have no idea what this room is supposed to be. Maybe motion capture or advertising? But it kind of looks like a server room on the other end of it. I've been in my fair share of server rooms. Uh, they have to air condition them because they can get very hot for very obvious reasons. This is the glass I tried to break and it didn't break. It was very sad and tragic. Can't use that phrase without thinking bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, first bottom live show. Uh, yeah, like I think it's what I figure. It's either blue screen filming or just like some kind of motion capture. Yeah, the first bottom live show. Uh, I reckon they'd get off track for like ten minutes because the uh, blue line. I have some sad and tragic news, and it is, it is beautiful. Oh my god, they're so they're so cute. Mm. Yeah, how are they gonna do motion capture for a car? It makes no it really like I wonder if the implication was that's where they filmed the opening sequence of this game. But it doesn't make any sense. The actual opening sequence of this game, if you've never seen it while I'm like waiting for stuff to load, is um there is a uh, there are three cars racing on a on a through in between the uh, grooves in a tire in the tire tr uh, and then they all end up exploding because this is Rush and the point of Rush isn't actually to like win it's to, to have the most spectacular fireballs I guess investigate everything. Ow! Yeah, just drive right into the leg of the chair stuff. Good. Good job. No. I think I've been in all of these. Because I know I came through there. Yeah, I got that key last time. So I've been through here. I'm basically just lodge combing this track at this point to see what I've missed. That's that weird little arcade niche that I found. Do 
Is there some more offices? I'm pretty sure I've been in this office before, so. Yeah, I've been in this office because there's a checkpoint. But I have to check everything. Here in the cubicles, I'm not allowed in. I always feel like there should be something here, and maybe there was, and I got it like early. No, wait, no, I want to go behind that, see if there's anything back there. It's important. Let me in. Let me in! Okay, I'm in now. Okay, okay nothing here. Denied again. What's in here? Which one is this again? I think. in this one? I feel like I've been in all of them, but it's like they all use the same assets. So it's kind of hard to, you know, tell if I've been somewhere or not at this point. That chair has got like. Oh no, it's got Mountain Dew cans on it, doesn't it? Oh my god, it does. Oh my god. This, this goddamn game, I swear to shit. This game is just always throwing that kind of shit at me. Okay, this seems like there should be something. Yeah! There we go. I'm just having so much fun right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Up and down there. Back to the track at the end. I know I've been over there and there's nothing. Oh. What's this? Oh, it's that again. Yeah, these, these are Mountain Dew cans, right? I'm pretty sure there's a Spooky Mountain Dew cans on that chair. <laughs> yeah, these cars can take- they get dented, they take a lot, and then eventually they just kind of go into every car as a pinto and uh, they explode on hard enough contact. I'm not really like racing right now, it's fine to just let it get beaten up because I'm just kind of tooling around and looking at things because there's so much to look at. I'm doing the track backwards right now because sometimes you notice things when you go backwards. Here's, for example, there's a weird purple wall here for no reason. There's another one. Sometimes they just, so they just kind of colored the walls because they could. Hmm. Let's see what's here now. I don't know, yeah, I think I've been in this room before. Yeah, the, the, the chairs definitely have Mountain Dew cans on them. I have absolutely zero memory of, of this Area 51 Site 4 game.
Yeah, no, it's like the the the, the every car is a pinto trope will come up inevitably because someone will be like, why does your car always explode? <laughs> I'm like, that's the game. They they play into the that trope hard. Like, yeah, every car in this game is just regardless of stability will just explode. Uh, you know, if you do enough. now, I don't really... The cones are here and I will hit them all. One of my favorite pastimes when I played Gran Turismo 4 was to just try to find and run over every cone. Oh, this seems like there would be something back here. There isn't... Yes, I hope this is also accurate to the re real Midway office. Um, I really want Midway's office to have looked like this at some point because this is just great. I want to work here. I mean, do they- Midway, do you need an archivist? Because I would like to work in this exact office. <laughs> I would put so much effort into preserving this game specifically, though. <laughs> okay, there's that jump again. I just gotta check under every desk. like a little place where they would have hidden something. Yeah, that is Diesel's one benefit actually, is that it's less likely to just go off compared to a regular unleaded or leaded gasoline. Yeah, no, 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 that's... No, go for it. It's okay. Talk about, like, Pinto's and exploding. Like literally, I spent the first ten minutes of the stream talking about uh, about Electros, so um, <laughs> I was very excited. I actually have I caught three Tynamos. Um, the one that's going to be on my uh, my Subway Masters team is named Third Rail, and then I caught two more, uh, so I can have one as Electric and fill the entire, you know, so I can have all three in my national decks. So the other two are named GG1 and Maglev <laughs> to keep the theme going. Um, everything on the, uh, the Subway Masters team that I made actually is named after something in the, N6 the NYC Subway, N64 Subway, what the hell am I talking about? Um, so that, that's, that was fun. Uh, which my sh like, the Chandelure is track 61, which is a quote-unquote secret track under Grand Central Station. Um, the, uh, the, oh crap, it's gonna, there you go. The uh, Archaeops is uh, City Hall, which is a closed station. Um, you can go on tours of it, though. If you talk to the people at the New York Transit Museum, they'll take you on a tour. Um, this feels like there should be something in here. But I don't feel like there's blush, there not be anything in here. Uh, so, you know, like names like that. So I was, I was. Trubbish is Penn Station. There's a reason Trubbish is Penn Station. Or it's a Garbador now, but. No, Electros looks like it gives good hugs. It's got big arms. <laughs> I like it. I want. I want to just hold it. It's like it's a 200 pound, seven foot long floating eel, and I think that's great. Pokemon is a good franchise. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, the Galvantula is Grand Central. Uh, you know, again, I was just having fun naming the naming that team and just being like, yeah, this is gonna be so stupid, but it's like. If people, you know, if they recognize why they're named the things they're named, they would be able to figure out what team I was running. Otherwise, it's just gonna seem really weird. Like, you go in there and then there's a Durant named like R179 and they're gonna be like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so like, that's, you know, if you, if you figure out the recurring theme and all of these names, then you know, you know what might, you'll know my entire team. <laughs> But, uh, it's there. I'm enjoying it. Okay, I didn't go over here at all. Did I? Um, that's the vending machine that I thought maybe if I bumped into it I could get Mountain Dew to come out. It didn't work. 
I keep getting mad because it's like the glass looks breakable in here, but it's not so frustrating to me. Follow the actual course of the game for a few minutes. Okay. Ugh. There's just so much in here that I didn't know about. Like, it's great. Good shot, all of my. Like, I have all the records on the New York tracks, of course. That's because I'm the best at the New York tracks, because I live there! Alright. Okay, I'm literally missing just two keys and one Mountain Dew can. Okay. I'm doing pretty well. All things considered here. I'm pretty sure I had a walkthrough that covered this track, but like I don't want to like ruin the surprises for myself. I'm having fun. Scroll me back up to the beginning. We have limited time here. Oh yeah, a lot of them say no information at this time. Ha! Ah, when they made this. Which ones am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Oh, okay, six. From start, go to checkpoint two. Turn around, go straight to the wall, turn left. Eight, they don't know where it is, so I'm on my own. And then Mountain Dew can too. Okay. Oh, that's a good team. Oh my god, that's a clever team. That's so cute. And for the people who can't see the chat, um, they've got uh, Yamask, Meloetta, and Chandler on their team, so that's. That's actually a solid team, too. Holy crap. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get Meloetta because I was out for a while. <laughs> um, but if they add it in, you know, if they add those guys back in, the mythical seven, really. Okay, so from the start, I have to turn around. I have to go to checkpoint three and turn around. Okay, so I actually have to pay attention to where I'm going. Also, Chandelure is just, is just great. I really like Chandelure. Just want to remind everyone. They actually, um, they, that Pokemon of the Year poll thing that they did, Chandelure was the most popular Unovan Pokemon, so... Go Chandelure, I guess. <laughs> Alright. I can't believe I'm actually following this track, like, the whole time it's just been... Okay, so this is the first checkpoint. Whoa! I have to go to checkpoint three, so I guess it's a while here. And then I'm completely on my own for key number eight. That's gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna have to just figure that one out on my own. Which is fun. It's just the more stuff I get, the more uh, the more weird cars I can use on each level. Like I could run around here with the Mountain Dew car after I get this last Mountain Dew can, so... Alright, so let's see, one more checkpoint to go. Mountain Dew car is weird. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'll be here till 10, and then I'm gonna send the stream over to uh, Wolf Spring at 10, so... Alright. So here we go. Okay, so it says to get to their checkpoint 3 and turn around. Checkpoint 3, turn around. Okay. Follow the track back towards checkpoint 2. I have to make the first right turn and follow the left wall. Alright, so let's 
checkpoint there is, so I'm gonna make the first right turn. All the Mountain Dew cans here. Okay, there we go. All right, let me go back to the uh, beginning of this track then. So all the I'm gonna have to do this completely. Yes, yeah, on track eight, it looks like. On, can on the key 8, I mean. I'll be completely winging it on that one. Rush Cola. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so this is the beginning of the track right back here. Okay. So let's see. So, key six. Go to checkpoint two. From the checkpoint, I have to turn around and go straight to the wall. Okay. Yeah, I ended up having to look these up. Checkpoint one. Checkpoint two is this one over here. I keep wondering what that thing is. So. Okay, so here's checkpoint two. Okay. Stop here. Just so from the checkpoint, turn around and go straight to the wall. Turn left. Okay. So where I came from, basically. Go straight to the wall. Turn left. Turn right. Go straight to the wall and turn right. Follow the left wall until it ends. Just here. Oh wait. Actually, no. Turn left and follow the wall until I can turn left into the room. Okay, hang on. So it's actually this way. Follow the wall until I can turn left into the room. So it's this room, which have I been in here? Go through the door at the far right side. Turn left. Oh! 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 There it is! Ah. Okay, so now I'm going completely blind. They don't know where key 8 is. I found key 9, so I'm actually apparently doing better than these people. Um, or, yeah. So that was 6. Now it's just a matter of finding this last one, and I've actually completely cleared this. Wee! Ah! Ow! There's always little nooks and crannies I still haven't, you know, gotten myself into yet. It's just so much. ramp actually come out because now I have to go up it and see if this is the same one I was on last time. Ah! Yeah, this is the same one I was on. Did I see something? Hold on a second. I kind of sworn I saw something on the way out. That was weird. It was the doorknob. I saw the doorknob. Okay, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a key, it was the doorknob. 
Okay. Yeah. It was the doorknob. Alright. I know I'm upside down at any given point in this game is just... Oh! Okay! So hang on a second, I can actually go around behind here. Can't I? Could there possibly be something in here? This thing has me... So I'm a little suspicious. Every single one. This is basically just like become Korok hunting at this point. <laughs> It'll get that last key and the game's gonna go, yeah, ha, ha, you found me! And I'm gonna rage because it was obvious. Which is how every Korok hunt ends. My roommate actually did get all 900. Um, in the end, uh, this literally ended up happening because we had a map that I was double checking while she was playing the game, and uh, it just we I had I had printed out maps at work and was going through them and cross referencing them with what we had, you know, with what she found, and it turned out that the maps that I had printed actually were very misleading, and uh, we ended up finding it because I used an app. Um, uh, side note, if you're gonna play through Breath of the Wild and you're gonna go for like more completionist stuff, Breath Companion is really good. Because um, you can use it as a checklist basically to mark down what you've done, what you haven't, what you've found, what you haven't. I highly recommend it. Very good free app. There is a paid version um, if you want, but it's, the free version will do you just fine as well. But if you want to support the developers, uh, please do. Because they clearly put a lot of effort into that. A lot of hard work. So yeah, shout out to whoever made Breath Companion. Y'all are the real MVPs here. <laughs> See, there's a crack in this door. I should be able to go in here. But I can't. Oh, it's so aggravating. Wait, is this the room I was just trying to get- OH MY GOD I FOUND IT! That was the room I was literally just trying to get in. I did it! I cleared- I cleared the entire sta- I got everything. Oh my god, I did it. Ah! Yay! Oh my god. Okay, this, this is just so, uh... Now I guess I'll actually try to, like, learn the real track so that I can actually play the game later. Um, now that this is unlocked, I can actually use it as a track. I don't know if it'll then, like, suddenly get added into the circuit mode because stunt isn't there. 
the crash and the half pipe tracks aren't there. But it's just, this is such a fun, fun stage. Like, I'm so glad this stage exists. It's very silly, but it's very fun. Whoops! There we go. Yeah, Rush, unfortunately, very rarely puts the keys on, like, the, the just straight up. It, they tend to really make you work for them. And, uh, they, they really want you to... And I guess in a way, it's a good way to, you know... Yeah, a lot of the stuff would be at, like, leg height. This was like a real office, so. This is where I got that Honda key. The, um. I mean, this the, the thing, like, I think the keys and the Mountain Dew cans, in a way, were a thing that the developers put in here so that you could. Uh, they gave, would give you a reason to really explore the entire track and really find everything, which is, you know, I guess it's a good way to show their work, so to speak. I mean, you don't hang your posters using your knees as a level, oh my god. get to know the actual track now instead of just like you know scouring it oops yeah I'm not sure how that happened the physics engine in this game is garbage that is a great example So when this ends, I'll have like a few minutes left, so I'll close it off with one more round of stunt before I hand it off. Because, uh, you know, I'd like to celebrate doing this. After 22 years! <laughs> Screwing around in this game, I finally have this, and I have, I have, I have unlocked everything on it. There's still some keys and some Mountain Dew cans I don't have. I will, you know, I can always get those off screen just because why not? But uh, you know, it's just nice to have. Uh, I'm glad that you were all here when I uh, when I got this, and uh, because it was this is something I, you know. This game is probably the N64 game I've put the most hours into in my life. My entire lifetime. Uh, and it's, it's actually very special to me. It's kind of a game I go to when I need to comfort myself or just kind of do something mindless or whatever. It's just, it's very... This game is like home to me. I know it sounds kind of weird. But I've always felt very, you know, comfortable with this game and it's just something I enjoy doing. And I'm really glad I got to share it with everybody over the past several months and just really showcase why I love it so much and, you know, to have you all here when I actually unlocked this was, was very nice. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you were all here, so thank you. Thank you for being with me while I did this. I'll end this stream inside the vent. Of the midway office there. Okay, there we go. Let's just... I just wanna... Yeah! Oh, that looks good. Alright. Alright, I'll mess around on stunt just one more time. And then, um... 
I'll hand it off. Uh, and then I'll probably play something else next month because I finally got that stupid track. Wow, I'm so good at doing stunts. We Land it. Yeah! Come on, stick it! Damn it. <laughs> Here's the inappropriate jump. My brother and I used to think this was just so funny that they snuck this into the game. Uh, when we got older, we realized that a lot of things get snuck into a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, you don't notice it as a child, but... I'm sorry, I'm very tired today. I've had a long weekend of things. I completely, completely botched that. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff in the stunt track that I haven't gotten. And in my spare time, I will just happily get it, you know, because this is a game that I always go back to. That I never get tired of. Anyway, it's just impossible to get bored with this for me. It's a very simple premise and everything, but, you know, there's just always something new in here to break. And I, I just love seeing how much I can screw with the physics engine without, like, even hacking the game or anything. Like, look at this. Like, this this shouldn't be... I, I'm gonna land this. Watch. Look at this. I should not have- I should not be alive. That- that's just ridiculous. I'm having a weirdly good run right now, actually. <laughs> As I've said many times before, if you ever play Rush 2, these little things are the best for the stunts. Because you can just flip off them and then do stuff like that. Barely functional physics are way better than realistic physics. Yes, I, I agree. The realistic physics benefited me once in my life. Um, I was very nervous before my, my real-life driver's test, and I was practicing using Gran Turismo 4, which is extremely realistic car physics. And uh, I passed first shot, so, you know, that has benefits. I spent a lot of time with Gran Turismo 4, too. Uh, I'm gonna survive that. <laughs> 28 times 3, hot damn. This won't- the score won't be saved because this is a practice mode, you know, but... Nailed it. Practice mode is more fun because you get, like, like, so much longer to just mess around on the level. That's why I use it for the, uh, for just, like, trying to unlock stuff and... Also for stunt, because it's just more fun. I like how the uh, sky doesn't really- the sky looks flat. Like, I love that the sky just looks like it's like a ceiling in a room. Which this is rushed, so it probably is a ceiling in a room. I've never been able to get this Mountain Dew can up here, but... Oh, I was really close that time. Damn it. I'm gonna land- am I gonna land this? No. <laughs> Never been able to get that bastard up there. Utter bastard. That one up there as well on the red thing. I've never been able to get that. But you know what? If I unlock that midway track, there's a first time for everything, so who knows? I might be able to get them in the future. I know I've mentioned this on stream before, but if you play the first San Francisco Rush and you go on track 6, um, there is a sort of test version, like a test room for what would become this track, hidden in 
the, a cave in a cliff. Um, and if you know where to find it, I found it by accident as a kid. Uh, and then I've been going back to it as an adult ever since because it's just fun. But it's... It's hard to get into. Even if it takes me another 22 years, you know, um, be still unlocking things here when I'm like 50. That'll be fun. I'm sure I'll still be playing this game in my 50s. This game is just so stupid. But, you know. My dad can still play Bosconian in all these years. I can still play this. So. <laughs> So, but the um, I love the uh, I love that like there that there is a dummied out version of this track. They were they were thinking about it um, as early as the first Rush game. And if you know where to look, we can find it. I am just killing it today. Holy shit! Um, but he would. Uh, but it's just, it's getting down to it can be difficult because you have to drive basically straight down a cliff and get into a cave. And obviously if you explode it'll take you back, so you kind of don't want to, you know, explode. I got into there once on stream a year or two ago to show everyone that I was not lying. Um, but it is, you can tell that it's clearly they're testing stuff for what's going to become this track. Uh, this game came out, I think, about a year after the first one, so they were, they were clearly, you know, working on this already. Where did this car go? Damn it. If I'd made it to the blue thing, if I'd rolled one more time, I would've landed that. This game is so dumb. <laughs> I just, this game is just so, like, mindless, but it's so... But you know what, I can tell when I play it, I can tell the developers had fun. Yeah, I'm definitely planning on other things. Um, I was thinking, I was talking earlier about maybe doing Pokemon Snap next month. Um, or some other stuff. I can always do an art stream at some point, too. Not really necessarily for AGI, but at some point I'd like to stream some art. Um, or history streams where I do lectures about historical topics. I think that would be enjoyable as well. I still gotta figure out what's going on with the DK64 emulation and why it why it shuts down if you if you die in the arcade game. Because uh, I got I gotta fix that. I'd like to you know finish the game at 101 percent, like I did on my actual copy of the game uh, on my N64. Yay. Storybook Weaver is always an option as well. Um, people who are new here, Storybook Weaver is an abandonware uh, program made by uh, MEC, the Minnesota Educational Competing Consortium. You know them best for things like Oregon Trail and Number Munchers, Word Munchers. Um, it's a very, very weird writing program with the greatest clip art I've ever seen in my life. And I've been using it consistently since I was five years old. I've installed it on every computer I've ever owned. Uh, it's actually on my Surface Pro tablet now. Damn it. If I'd landed that, that would've been great. Uh, and uh, so yeah, it's got the best clip art, including an alien named Doorknob Man. So it's, it's, I love Storybook Weaver so much. And I'm always, always happy to share the files with anyone who wants them because I have them uh, in a zip file just on my uh, on my Google Drive. <laughs> I've sent them to many people. Uh, I feel like many people should have Storybook Weaver. It is a sign of my love and friendship if I if I send Storybook Weaver to you. It's a uh, a token of friendship and appreciation because you know I think that it's stupid and I want all the people in my life to experience how ridiculous it is for themselves. Let's see if I can just kind of land this. I did. Amazing. I love this game. It's <laughs> a pretty good chance I can get over 200 here, so we'll, uh, yeah, we'll keep going. 
soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna pass off the Wolf's Brain, and that's gonna be the last one for AGI this month. Uh, so again, you know, obviously, for those of you who are new, AGI is uh, the Autistic Gaming Initiative. All the streamers are autistic. We're, you know, all spectrum dwellers, as it were, and we all like video games, and we all wanted to give back and help other autistic people through something we love. So. We uh, do this once a month for the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network, Autistic Women and Non-Binary Network, and it's usually the last weekend of every month unless like, there's a holiday that gets in the way. This weekend actually, um, you know, is Thanksgiving weekend in the United States, so a lot of people were home and, you know, could maybe t it was, you know, we wanted to give some entertainment while they kicked back and relaxed with family and friends if, you know, they were able to do that safely anyway, because you know, things are dicey right now. Very dicey. Like, don't see people that you haven't been seeing regularly already, please. The only people I, I saw are people I've been seeing regularly because I'm, you know, scared otherwise. I do my laundry at my parents' house every two weeks because I'm afraid to use the laundromat in town right now because it's very narrow and um, small and enclosed and I don't know how they would circulate air in there, so. Not really the best place to be doing your laundry. Uh, but anyway, AGI is, uh, we try to, you know, get people to donate to AASAN, which is the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network, and AWN, the Autistic Women and Non-Binary Network. Uh, AWN actually also has an Autistic uh, People of Color Fund that I highly recommend you check out, uh, promote, donate to if you can. Um, it's it's a reparations fund. It helps autistic people of color, especially women and non-binary autistic people of color, get back on their feet, escape abusive situations, and other very, very important things. Uh, so they're always in need of donations to that fund, so I really highly recommend them. Uh, I believe they are on Twitter as uh, Autistic POC, I think. I think it's Autistic underscore POC, but I could be wrong. Uh, but we've definitely tweeted about them in the past at AGI, so you can find their handle on our Twitter feed if you scroll down enough. It's definitely there. Uh, but these, these organizations are run by autistic people for autistic people, and that's why I recommend them. Obviously, we've had a big controversy in the autism community recently uh, with a certain movie. Uh, so, obviously, please boycott music, I think it's called. Uh, I mean, obviously, I don't really go to the movies anyway, so it's not hard for me to do, but uh, don't see it. You know, it's it's gonna be... You, you kind of gotta hit people in the wallet on things like this. It seems to be the only way you can get them to listen. But they, they consult... Uh, yeah, yeah, cleared 200. 200 cleared it. They, they can um, see a consulted Autism Speaks instead of this, and then didn't cast any autistic people, and autistic people pointed out that a lot of us are you know, actors and things, and I think she even said to one of them, well, maybe you're just a bad actor, which, you know, considering how we have to constantly pretend we're normal, I think we're all very, unfortunately, many of us are very good actors by necessity. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, um, Autism Speaks, no, uh, Autistic Self-Advocacy Network and Autistic Women and Non-Binary Network, yes, those are the organizations you want. Um, there are links on our website, which is autismgaming.com. If you donate to them, I believe there's a link in my uh, channel somewhere or other as well. And if you join the AGI Discord, we can of course just give you the links anytime, and you can also watch me being stupid over history in the History Channel, which I enjoy doing. Um, so that's... If you join the Discord, you can be my friend. <laughs> I promise I'm a good friend. I'm I'm nice. I just I just swear a lot because I'm from New Jersey. Don't let that scare you off. I promise I am a a nice young woman. It's kind of weird to say young woman. I'm 31, but you know I'm not old or anything. I'm 31. <laughs> Young in real life, old on the internet, I guess is a good way of putting it.
Alright, yeah, so I got about a hundred seconds left in this one, and I'll, uh, we'll raid Wolfie and uh, send everybody off over there. I think he just tweeted himself out. Yeah, he did. Uh, okay, he's gonna be playing more Call of Cthulhu, so uh, I'll be passing you off there in about 80 seconds, and I really hope that you've all been enjoying the streams this weekend, and, you know, if we were able to help you with even a little bit of, like, holiday stress, that is great. Uh, that's why we're here. Come on, stick it. Ah, damn it. Would have been nice to hit 230. I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky or not here. But, um... If we were able to help with even a little bit of the holiday stress, I'm really glad for that. And, uh... You know, it's just... It's kind of weird to me to think that this has now been going for over three years. Like, it's been about three and a half years since I started this little thing. It was just a little idea I had. I didn't think it would get this far, and I'm amazed that you're all still here. And I know I probably say this every month, but it just blows my mind that AGI is still happening, and I, I, I feel so very lucky. I, a lot of my bigger scale group project ideas have never, you know, gotten this far, so to have AGI continuing is, is amazing to me. And I'm just so happy. Okay, 229 it is, I guess. Not bad. Alright, I'm gonna hand you all off to Wolfie and we're gonna... Whee! And uh, thank you all so much for joining us today. I super appreciate all of you. Love you all so much. And uh, we're gonna hand it off. So I'm gonna, without further ado, pass you guys to Wolf's Brain and we're gonna move along here. So yes, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I will be raiding now. Whoop. If it would let me do this. Come on. Right. Bye everyone. See you all soon. Or in the server or wherever you all are. Um, we're going to raid Wolfie now and uh, have a great rest of your night.